All right, so I've been seeing clips of this right here. Luke Rockhold versus Hamza Chimaev. Just a straight-up grappling match. I've been seeing clips of it all over Twitter, and I finally found the full match. It looks like it's about four minutes long. I'm really excited to check this out. From what I saw, Hamza Chimaev just absolutely mauled Luke Rockhold, which, I mean, should not be too surprising. Chimaev is an elite, elite, elite grappler. But... Let's actually watch this, man. Let's watch this and see what happened. Oh, by the way, apparently this is like like a Russian version of the Ultimate Fighter, I think. I don't even know this this was a thing, but Let's see. Submission. Это не для сучек. Люк Хамзат. Два легендарных бойца покажут величайшую схватку прямо сейчас. Заодно Люк покажет, как он готов к Джошилингу. Oh, look at Hamza Chimaev on his back. All right, he goes butterfly. Inserts that into a half guard. Gets double butterflies again. Oh, he goes outside Ashi. Outside Ashi into the saddle. Very good. Luke Rockhold rolls out of the leg lock. Wow. Hamza Chimaev doing leg locks. Are you kidding me? He's got that, that uh, two on one control. Yo, Chimaev is legit, bro. His bottom game is legit. Uh, okay. He's going to try to wrestle up probably. Not sure what Luke Rockhold is doing. He's like kneeling directly and giving him the double butterflies. Oh, look at that beautiful knee lever. Knee lever into. Wow! Yo! Chimaev into the saddle. That is incredible. That knee lever Kazushi into the saddle. Oh my god. Can we can we get an angle? I want to see what Rockhold is doing with his left leg. Luke Rockhold needs to protect that left leg because that's the... There we go. See, what, what Rockhold is doing right now, holding on to his left leg, he knows that's the leg that Chimaev wants to attack. And he is trying to insert that left leg in between Chimaev's knee. Chimaev sees that, stands up, uses that to pass the guard. This is literally beautiful, beautiful grappling right here by Hamza. Holy shit. All right. Oh my god, these close-up angles is not allowing me to see what's happening. <laughs> Luke Rockhold looking for a buggy, but like it's not even anywhere near Chimaev's neck. I don't know why he's doing that. Oh, these close-up angles, I'm not able to see what's going on. Oh my god, Chimaev's pressure has to just feel like dying, bro. You can clearly see the dude is not just strong. He is ridiculously skilled, man. Yeah, bro. This, yeah, bro. I don't know who in the middleweight division right now is going to be able to handle this dude's grappling, man. Look at this. Look at the beautiful um, half Nelson to try to tilt him. That is stunning. Actually, that looked more like... I gotta watch that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was a half Nelson, right here. He's gonna try to use. Oh, oh, Rocco standing up. Is he gonna mat return him? Yes, he does. Back to the mat. That is insane. Also, can we just like talk about the fact that he's doing this to Luke Rockhold? Rockhold is no joke either, man. Rockhold is no joke. If you want to see how good Luke Rockhold is, go watch his fight versus Chris Weidman. Rockhold has been known for having some of the best top position in the middleweight division. Of course, in pure grappling, you know, he's not going to be an elite level grappler. But like when it comes to like the world of MMA, Luke Rockhold is at the top of at the top of the mountain, bro. And watching Hamza Chimaev do this. There we go. On bar. I want to see how he separates the arm. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to correct Hamza Chimaev right here, but if he would have hooked on Luke Rockhold's right leg, Rockhold would not have been able to come up like that, which is why a lot of times before you get that on bar secure, you hook the leg that's closest to you. Did he tap? Did he tap? Did he tap? Hold on. 
Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, I don't see it. Oh, I couldn't see. I think he tapped. There's the only reason why he would have let go. He tapped. Wait, what did he tap to, though? What did he tap to? That pressure must have been insane for him to tap right there. That is absolutely incredible, bro. Let's go back and watch some of this again. I love the way he entered that on bar. <clears throat> Now the way that I the way that I've been taught with the on bar to prevent them from coming up doing exactly what Rockhold did right there the moment he passed that right leg over he would be hooking onto uh, Rockhold's right leg. If you hook onto the right leg he's not going to be able to post that leg on the mat and actually throw the left leg over. Again, I am in no way shape or form saying I know anything even close to what Hamza Chimaev knows about grappling. He is he is a monster, all right? I'm just I'm just pointing out what I'm watching. That's all. You see how Rockhold is able to push off that right leg and come up? See how he, how he's able to push off that right leg and come up? Yeah, a lot of times to prevent that from happening, you you hook on that right leg and then you slowly secure the uh the um uh, the arm bar while holding on to the right leg. I will say though, that's usually more of a gi thing. That's usually more of a of a gi thing, as opposed to like a, a no gi thing. Bro, this is amazing! Oh my god! I wish I would have been in the room while this was happening. Oh my god, man! The amount of excitement watching jujitsu gets me right now. I can't even put it into words. You know, I'm. I'm gonna watch it again. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's watch it from the beginning. One more time. Okay, one more time. One more time. One more time. All right, so look at the beautiful. It's it's just, it's the way he goes from that into half guard. Rockhold is trying to get, get hold of his neck. And he's gonna immediately roll into outside Ashi. Rockhold rolls over that saddle right there. Rockhold keeps rolling. He loses the knee line. For you to be able to secure a leg lock, you need to keep your opponent's knee line. If you lose the knee line, there is no leg lock whatsoever, which is what that roll Rockhold did was about. When you roll and you use your other leg, you peel and get your knee line out of the way. He's got, he's got this Russian tie. Rockhold is able to get out of it. But man, just kneeling directly in front of him and giving him double. Look at that knee lever, bro. Yo, yo. Okay, so what is the knee lever? Watch this right here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So look at look at the configuration of um, Chimaev's legs. All right, see that right there. When the a regular a regular half guard, this left leg is not gonna be in this position. But because of because of what. Chimaev wants to do. He wants to off balance Rockhold to his left. So rather than having his left leg inside of Rockhold's inside of Rockhold's leg in a regular um, half guard position, he takes his right leg. Chimaev takes his right leg. He's gonna put his right leg on the mat and hip. He's gonna hip to his left. That's going to Kazushi off balance Luke Rockhold to Rockhold's right. So you're gonna watch that again. And that knee lever allows you to sweep, allows you to enter the legs, around, allows you to wrestle up. It really it creates a lot of opportunities. Look at that. Look at that beautiful off balance, bro. And then from there, he's gonna scoop, he's gonna scoop the leg and immediately throw the other leg over. I mean, this is incredible, bro. And right here, he's in saddle. If Rock, if Rockhold was not disciplined with holding on to his own leg, he would have gotten heel hook right there. Now, from this position, from this position, what really seasoned leg lockers will typically do is they'll try to get what is called double trouble. Now, double trouble is when you control the other leg as well. So, regularly when you see fighters are uh, really, really seasoned leg lockers in this saddle position of this honey hold, what they do is they reach and they grab a hold of the other leg as well. When you have the other leg, you have the guy completely shackled and he can't turn away from your, uh, from your heel hook. Then you can uh, use the threat of a break on this secondary leg, the right leg, to open up the heel hook on the left leg. Hey, 
look at that. He uses that to pass. Chimaev is a beast, bro. Chimaev is a beast. I can't wait to see this guy back in the octagon. You know what I mean? You know, I, 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 I really hope that he stops getting, you know, I don't know, whatever's going on, bro. I don't want his career to go the same way that we've seen some other very, very, very elite uh, uh, fighters like Cain Velasquez, you know, some of these guys who injuries, sickness, keeps them away from the octagon. And next thing you know, their prime disappears. So, man, really, really, really hoping he can get this thing together and uh, get back to being active in the octagon. What I don't understand is why Rockhold is content keeping his right arm over as opposed to bringing the right arm in. That's going to give him knee and elbow connection and allow him to actually escape that side control. I'm not sure what why Rockhold was doing that. But man, look at the way he's tilting him, man. This is gorgeous. You can tell he's strong as God knows what. This is not just technique, man. This is this is strength. This is that isometric strength that grapplers have, man. Where they get their hands around you and you're like, what the absolute fuck is going on? I can't move. Look at that. Look at this mat return. Boom! Gets him right back to the ground. It's demoralizing, man. It's demoralizing. As far as I'm as, as far as I know, Rockhold is a black belt in jiu-jitsu. And last time I checked, Hamza Chimaev was like, was he wasn't he a white belt? Or like a a blue belt? Blue belt? <laughs> yeah, right here. These are the freaking blue belts that you compete against at IBJJF, where they have years upon years upon years of wrestling, and they show up wearing a blue belt, and then they just absolutely maul you, and you're like, what in the world was that? Oh, this is so amazing. This is so good. This is so good. Can we please get more content like this, please? Yeah, and right there, right there, he he had to have tapped. He had to have tapped. Yeah, he had to have tapped right there. Major props, man. Major props. Also, it, it is worth noting that um, Rockhold uh, has a really bad back. I'm not saying that's why he got mauled. He would have gotten mauled by Chimaev anyways. Chimaev clearly has more skill than he does. But Rockhold has been dealing with some serious back issues, and he just competed at this at CJI, and that his back was really, really, um, it was really bothering him. So, uh, either way, man, this was this was a what a showcase, man! What a showcase, Hamza Chimaev. Hopefully, you show up for UFC 308, man. Come on, he's about he's gonna be fighting Robert Whitaker. Oh man. If the fight hits the mat, man, based on what we're seeing, Robert might be in some serious, serious doo-doo, bro. Holy shit. Anyways, that's going to do it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this right here. If you did, leave a like on the video. It's for my night owls. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.